All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Shem Shai, by Shem Rakakwadash, the Wadi Yahweh, by Shem Shai, for allowing me to do another video through Spirit, the Wadi Yahweh, by Shem Shai, for giving us his truth as worms, double honors to our apostle elders at Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is going to be a quick video, something that pissed me off. Because Jake out here believed that melanin has something to do with us being the strongest people on the planet. Or melanin yeah, is, is what makes you, uh, uh, makes you black people. Or melanin didn't uh, negate the northern tribe. But it's all bullshit, man. We, we are not the strongest people on the planet because of melanin. If, if melanin was so fucking strong... Why did we go in slavery? Why why did we end up in the position we were in? If we're so strong and we're so great because we have melanin, why are we under the so-called white man? Answer that, man. Why why are we un why are we under him, man? If melanin, if we you got dark ass nigga out there, man, they should be able to pick up pick up a car and throw it at the White House, man. If melanin is what makes us strong. I'm, I'm sick and, and tired of these dumbass doctrines, man. These doctrines which Esau Edom came up with, man. Your fucking enemy came up with this shit, man. Your enemy told you this melanin bullshit just so you can negate the 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 prophecies which are written in the Bible about Esau versus Jacob. Melanin has nothing to 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 do with your strength, man. Uh, melanin. The reason we have melanin is to, to, to stand outside, man. It fights against the, the, the harmful rays of the sun. That's it. That's it. Everyone on this fucking planet has melanin, man. Except for the so-called white man. Esau Edom. So are they all Israelites? Because they have melanin. See, I'm, I'm just getting to the scriptures. I'm a little frustrated. Because it's, it's it's a vexing it's it's very vexing man it's it's honestly annoying it's on it's honestly stupid and very 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 frustrating. This is a uh, Genesis twenty five and and verse thirty twenty three, and the Lord said unto her, two nations I'll start up, and the children uh I'll start at twenty two actually. 21 Genesis 25 and 21 and Isaac entreated the Lord for for his wife because she was was barren and the Lord was intended entreated of of him and Rebecca his wife conceived and the children struggled which that word struggle means to fight together within her and she said if it be so why am I thus and and she went to inquire of the Lord and the Lord said unto, unto her, two, na two nations are in thy womb, and two manners of people shall, shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other, other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. So that's why we are stronger than Esau and Edom, huh? because they're a prophecy which was written about Jacob, Jacob being stronger than his older brother Esau because Esau is our older brother. Esau came out first. He is the elder. But what does it say? The elder, the elder shall serve the younger. Why? Because the prophecy is it fits that Esau is going to be enslaved for, for what he did unto his brother Jacob. But it says, and shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people, meaning Jacob, the Israelites, shall be stronger than the, the other people. So that's what gives us our strength, man. The Lord Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai gave us that strength, man. Rather you had made rather you Israelite with melanin or not. It's the prophecy is that Jacob will be stronger than Esau. That's why Jake dominates in the arena. Dominate uh they dominate in, in sports because physically and even mentally mentally, we're stronger than them. Why? Because Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai said so, man. That's why. We're stronger than the so-called white man. Not because of no fucking melanin, man. 
Melanin melanin does not give you power. That shit that that this melanin shit is so stupid, man. It's so fucking stupid. You got great basketball players that don't have like the dude called Dark Chocolate. Or White Chocolate. White Chocolate, that was his name. Blake Griffin. Uh Bruce Lee. These people's lines and their spirit shows that they would have to be Israelites, man. It's about the spirit within you, man. It's about the spirit that is that's within you. The spirit that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai placed inside of you. Not no carnal melanin, man. The Lord gave us melanin so we could be out in the heat. And be able to withstand the sun, man. Because the sun can, uh, can kill you if you're out there too long. So, let me get another scripture, man. This is Deuteronomy 7. And these are simple scriptures, man. It's basic scriptures you learn when you first come in. But this is it's, it's, it's a basic lesson. It's a simple lesson. We are strong because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is on our side. When he's not on our side, we are nothing. Simple as that. Deuteronomy, not no. If if melanin was so great, we wouldn't we wouldn't have went into slavery, man. And then to say this, all the tribes have melanin. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, all the way to Iskar, the so-called Mexicans used to have melanin. When they came over here, they found dark-skinned people, not because they were Judites or, or so-called Afro African Americans. It's because they were they were Israelites, man. All the Israelites had, had they were dark-skinned. But what does the scripture also say? Ephraim is a cake unturned. Through mixing and dealing with these other nations, our people look lighter skin. Does that not make them Israelites? It's fucking stupid, man. Hey, like Elder Mashpah said, said, man, if you're not a believer, I don't want to be around you, man. If you don't believe in, in this truth of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, I, I honestly don't want to be around you. This is Deuteronomy seven and six. For thou, for the, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord, thy power, and the Lord, and the Lord thy power, have chosen thee to be a special people unto Himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not, not set His love upon you, nor choose you because ye were more in number than 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 any people. And that goes with you weren't the strongest nation. That goes with with you weren't you weren't the biggest, roughest. For for ye for ye were the fewest of all people. Because what happened, man? We were slaves in, in Egypt, man. Lord didn't set his love upon us because we were the biggest, toughest, roughest nation, man. We were the weakest, man. We were the fewest of all the people, man. All these nations already established, and, and we in slavery. For ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he, he would keep the oath which he swore unto your fathers, that's why we 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 prosper, man. When Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is on our side, we prosper. That he gives us our strength. We're 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 like gods on the planet through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And he allows us to have certain attributes that we used to have. That's why brothers can be super strong. So you have Jake who are super good at basketball because they, they're they're like gods, man. Because that's where our line goes back into the Israel. What does Israel mean? Princes of the power. We are strong because of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and he made us strong. Not because of no fucking melanin, man. Not just melanin alone. Yeah, melanin has strength. Strength in keeping the, the damn sun from burning your skin. But other than that, our strength comes from the Lord. Have the, have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondage from the hand of, of, of Pharaoh, king of e Egypt. So the Lord delivered us because he he made a promise, man. He he swore unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that we would basically reign over the over the world, and that he would that he would keep us. 
But when we go off from Yahweh Bush and Yahweh Shai, we go through slavery. We end up in transatlantic slave trade. We end up in America. We are not strong by ourselves, man. Melanin is not what makes us strong. Yahweh Bush and Yahweh Shai, it would, it's what makes us strong. Amos 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has spoken against you, O children of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all of all the families of the earth. Therefore will I punish you for all your iniquity. That's why we end up in slavery. Because if melanin was so tough, if it gave you superpowers, we would have never ended up in the situation we, we ended up in, man. That shows that that whole melanin doctrine, that whole melanin theory, it's all bullshit, man. What makes us strong and what gives us protection is Yahweh by Shem Shai. Without him, we are nothing, man. Without the power of heaven on our side, we would be utterly destroyed, man. Straight up, man. It's just as simple as that. I'm gonna get one more precept and close off, man. I'm, I'm pissed off, man. That, that shit pissed me off, man. <laughs> This is Second Ezra, one in verse twenty. Actually, I know what I'm, I'm gonna close off on this. This is uh, Isaiah forty-one and fourteen. Fear not, thou worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord. And thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. That's how we're gonna get delivered out of this place, man. Through the strength of Yahweh by Shem Shai. And not through the strength of no fucking melanin. <laughs> we're gonna be delivered out of this place through the strength of the Lord, man. Through his mighty hand. That's how we're gonna get out this captivity. And, and you niggas who wanna believe in melanin, we're gonna see if melanin help you in that day, man. If melanin protect you from the RFID chip, man. If melanin protect you from a nuclear fucking missile, man. If melanin protect you from from the from the fucking sword, man. We gonna see in that day, man. With the, all these fuck ass doctors, man. We gonna see which one's right. You Jake's not believing in the scriptures, man. We gonna see, man. We gonna fucking see who who's who's right at the end of the day, man. If melanin is gonna protect you in that day, if Allah is gonna protect you in that day. If Krishna, Buddha, who's going to protect you in that day, man? So with that, Lord, will I hope this lesson was edifying. Hey, our power, man, our power is fed up with our people, man. He's, he's fucking done with them, man. But all praise be to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakaq Kodash, and Shalom.